famous people have, statistically speaking, a shorter lifespan than people matched for age and all other aspects of life who are not famous. The question is, why is that? Matthew Perry's death recently has been all the more tragic because of how young he was. It raises a question which many doctors and psychologists have been interested in. Remember that Sinead O'Connor died recently as well, a famous person, died young, tragically again. Is it possible that being famous shortens your lifespan? Surprisingly enough, some scientific research has been done on precisely this question and has found that it's true that being famous is dangerous for your health. Famous people have, statistically speaking, a shorter lifespan than people matched for age and all other aspects of life who are not famous. The question is, why is that? There are various theories as to why being famous could be bad for your health and maybe particularly your mental health. And some of these theories seem to be illuminated by the Matthew Perry case. Matthew Perry um, seems to have been a victim of what many people might call the temptation theory of why fame shortens your lifespan. He has spoken openly about his trouble with drink and he may have had trouble with drugs as well. In fact, he was uh, involved with this to such an extent that apparently is written that his colon exploded, that he had so much surgery to his bowels and abdomen that he developed rock hard abs, he said, because of surgery, not because of being fit. So you can have a shortened lifespan because you do a lot of drink and drugs and Matthew Perry even opened his own house and turned it into a kind of rehab center. That's how embedded he was in that area of life of people with problems with drink and drugs. So maybe famous people are more open to temptation because famous people have the wrong kind of person sometimes in their entourage who throw drink and drugs at them and maybe partying and the ability to party all night is one of the reasons why people want to be famous, because of that opportunity. So drink, drugs, a party lifestyle, a dissolute lifestyle, a lifestyle where things are very ill-disciplined and out of control, sleeping around a lot, all of these things we know will shorten your life. Is it possible that Matthew Perry had a shortened life because he was famous, and that was because of the temptation theory of why fame shortens your lifespan. There's another theory about why fame may shorten your lifespan and that's something to do with stress. Being famous, particularly if you're famous in the world of the performing arts, is a very precarious thing. The series that Matthew Perry became famous for, Friends, did run for season after season, being like the number one sitcom throughout the world, not just the USA. But they didn't know that was going to happen. As each season went by, were they all stressed, the people working on that show, as to whether they could hit the number one spot again and again. The precariousness of being an actor, of being a performing artist, of being a rock star, brings a lot of stress. There's also the stress of performance itself. Going on stage is stressful. Having to turn up day in, day out onto a TV studio and perform, and for that performance to be very publicly judged. Women in particular, famous women, find the stress of having to maintain an amazing appearance from when they were very young and became famous, and as they turn into middle age, they know newspaper editors will be doing before and after photographs, and the comparison may not be flattering. Matthew Perry struggled with his weight. Is there a stress of having to maintain your appearance if you're famous, which the rest of us don't suffer from, and is all this stress bad for your mental health and as a result makes you turn to bad habits like drinking and doing too many drugs and all of that package shortens your lifespan. There's a stress theory as to why fame is bad for your health and shortens your lifespan. There's another theory about why fame shortens your lifespan, and that's not that the fame itself is the problem, but the kind of people who choose fame and pursue fame have embedded in their personality problems that then lead to them having a shorter life. Research has found that the famous, particularly fame in the form of the performing arts or the artistic side of being famous, 
tends to be associated with people who have a troubled childhood. There's an acronym called Adverse Childhood Events, or ACEs. These are found more commonly, interestingly enough, in the famous, who are famous because they're actors or rock stars or involved in the performing arts. Is it that some people have a troubled childhood and they seek fame as a way of escaping a difficult childhood? Do they replace the fact they were not loved as children with the love of fans? But the problem is the love of fans is not very good for you in the long run because you keep chasing that love of fans and it means it becomes a trap, it becomes stressful, you tend to constantly be monitoring social media for any negative comments about you and basically this is all really bad for your mental health. Independently of whether you become famous or not, having an adverse childhood shortens your lifespan. Is it that the famous have shortened lives because the reason they choose fame is an escape from a difficult childhood and that already set them up to having a shorter life? Matthew Perry has written in autobiographical statements about a very difficult childhood. Is that one of the reasons? In a way, was it set up a long time before Matthew Perry died that the tragic factors involved in that death were already in play? from a long time ago. One of the things that has been said about Matthew Perry is that he was unlike all the other actors in this famous hit series Friends, that he, of all the other actors, was more likely to be found in what's referred to as the writer's room. So these mega sitcoms in America have a thing called the writer's room. They have a lot of money, these sitcoms, so they throw money at the writing of the jokes. So they have a team of writers, and these people meet in the writer's room. Normally, the actors in a sitcom never go to the writer's room. They just read the script. It is said that of all the actors on the sitcom series Friends, he was the only one who would be regularly found in the writer's room. He helped them write the jokes. This suggests that Matthew Perry may have been more creative than the other actors. There's a very interesting link between creativity, the people who write stuff and create stuff, compared to just people who perform and read the script. And there's a link between creativity and a particular mental illness that is definitely known to shorten your lifespan, and that is bipolar depression disorder, otherwise referred to as manic depression. These are people who suffer from mood swings. They go high, they become elated, they become grandiose, but they also are incredibly created in the high phase. But they also go low and they become suicidal, they turn to self-harming behaviours like drink and drugs. Now, I'm not saying that Matthew Perry suffered from a bipolar disorder, but there is a very strong link between that kind of mental health problem and people who are creative. Was he more creative than the other actors on the Friends series? And is that a link or a clue to the fact he may have had, we don't know for certain, uh, other kind of mental health problems in the light of the link between creativity and mental illness? Obviously, people are interested in the idea that fame may shorten your lifespan and may be surprised that there actually is some scientific research that has found this to be true. The reason why I believe this research is really important is not just because you may be a fan of famous people that you might be interested in this, but it gives us a clue on how we can lead a longer life. We can learn something from this research. The research suggests that discipline, being disciplined, actually leads to a longer life. It suggests that a lot of recreational drug abuse and drinking very heavily is not good for you in terms of a long lifespan. Maybe sleeping around, chronic infidelity, all these Hollywood actors often have many divorces. Sticking to one person throughout your life has been found to be linked to a longer life. Maybe we can learn something from the lifestyles of the famous that we can steer clear of that lifestyle in order to live a longer life. The reason why this is very important is that famous people become role models, particularly for young people, and they want to copy famous people. And the trouble is, in copying famous people, they may shorten their lives.